Today, I'll show you a few items that could be luxuries, or if you want to go out and invest in them, you can buy them. It's always nice to have a pair of clippers. Um, you can buy clippers at large pet stores for um, usually around $150, and they can be a good investment. But you can also sometimes use little tiny clippers that men use for their beards. These can be for small wounds, but um, you might have this in your house. But you can purchase better quality clippers to keep in your first aid kit. The other most important thing to keep in your first aid kit is a muzzle. When a dog hurts or is in pain uh, or injured, they are very likely to protect themselves by striking out. So when you're going to work with your dog on a painful procedure, and to them that just might be something in their ear or something in their foot, then you really want to be able to put a muzzle on. You don't want to use a muzzle on flat breed, flat nosed breeds like boxers. Sonker, come here, let's show them your little flat nose. I don't know if we can see you that way. On dogs like boxers, their noses are really not amenable to putting um, a muzzle on them, and so it's best to use something like an Elizabethan collar. Elizabethan collars can keep you from getting bitten because they just protect you, or they can also be used to keep the dog from getting at their bandage. If you don't have a regular muzzle or an e-collar, you can actually make a muzzle for most types of dogs. Please sit for me. And what you want to use is something like a long piece of material or a long piece of cotton. Mia. Tie a knot, a large knot, a large loop. Sit. Thank you. Put that over their nose like that. Pull it tight. And then you can make a figure eight under their chin and tie it behind their neck. And then you effectively have them muzzled so they cannot hurt you or themselves.